I was going to do a completely different video than this, but um, you know, I had this strange, one of those you know, strange connected thoughts kind of thing, and uh, I thought I would go with it, might as well. Um, yeah, I made a, a joke, a couple of jokes about women on one of my message boards, on one of the comment boards, and um, <clears throat> well, anyway, long story short, um, you know, the, the Platinum Kitty uh, responded to, um, you know, what, one of the, the videos and uh, and so I made a joke about you know scratching someone's eyes out and uh, you know that that reminded me of a memory that's kind of connected to my whole atheist experience you know how I became or, or what solidified it let's say um, because like I said I would think I was born atheist um, so anyway you know I remembered something that was just a, it was a very one of those key moments in your life kind of things and so it's just kind of strange how this kind of, you know, connected from these inadvertent events and it, it brings up a memory or brings up a connection that's, that's almost in like a dream state that just seems so irrelevant, but there is relevance, you know. So anyway, I, the, the story goes, I mean, was, I was probably 10 years old and um, I was in church and it was big, big fancy church. That eventually burned down, which is kind of funny. It's those kind of, you know, churches that burn down kind of things are always kind of funny. But anyway, it was really ornate, big, huge organ, the whole smear. Very intimidating kind of atmosphere, you know. Uh, everybody's well dressed, of course, suit, tie, the whole smear. And uh, so I'm sitting there, you know, filling in the O's on the little pamphlet, you know, just, <laughs> you know, doing my church thing. And uh, they had this choir. And so these, you know, people in the choir are walking down the aisle, and there was this this girl, you know, and the, the light was just perfect, and she was just beautiful, the most beautiful girl I'd ever seen. I was, you know, 10 years old and horny, and this girl was just, you know, unbelievable. I mean, I never saw anything so perfect, so so beautiful. And I didn't realize at the time. I was I was told, you know, shortly after I hear something that this is a choir of blind people and so I'm just stunned I mean the, the the realization that this beautiful creature was blind just uh, you know I thought something was weird because her eyes looked so vacant and they were like gray and uh, well anyway so you know they're singing up at the front now and, and I'm just sitting there stunned by hearing this that these people are blind and that this beautiful girl is blind and I just couldn't it, it just it just stunned me and I'm saying well how could why would God do that to this thing why 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 I mean I just couldn't see any there wasn't anything evil or sinful or wrong or you know there wasn't a hair out of place not a thing wrong with this thing she was perfect and yet she was blind I mean why would God do that to her and I, I was trying to imagine all the stuff she was missing and all how could this beautiful thing not know what beauty is? I mean, it was just, it was, it just, it, it just, I was, I almost was crying. I mean, I was just, this was just not acceptable. And, um, and so then, you know, I'm <coughs> thinking through it some more, I remember, and, and it was just, it was just, you know, harping at me. Um, you know, that why would a God ever do this? This is, could, no way could be a God. And then I had this second realization. I said to myself, look how much I'm caring for this girl. And why am I doing it? Because she's beautiful. And I said, all those other people, there's 30 other people in that choir, and I couldn't give a damn. But she was beautiful, and so I gave a damn. And then I, you know, that was a real tough one at my age, anyway, 10 years old, to deal with this fact that I was so corrupt. That I, that that, here I was having this profound moment of empathy, this this thing you would almost call, um, a, you know, an unselfish, empathetic pity, whatever you want to call it. But I mean, I had this sincere want for her to to have what she didn't have, to, to, and I was even praying to God, look, God, you want to prove you exist? Well, I'm praying to you. I'm asking you, let that girl see. And so, you know, I'm, I'm, here I am doing this, this, this gesture of love or whatever you want to call it, kindness, decency, and then I realized that, you know, it's selfish. 
it's corrupted it's it's broken because I, I somehow can't generate that feeling for those 30 other people that weren't as attractive and you know that was a real a profound moment in my life in the sense that I realized how corrupt I was and how how far I was from um, you know um, exercising I mean I, I didn't understand exercising perfect judgment but I mean I just I, I just it, it gave me cause to start ripping at myself a little harder and, and realizing that um, you know there's there's I have to account for for my behavior before I can you know make God account for his behavior it really wasn't that I mean you know that's going a little too far maybe just because you do expect a little bit more from a fucking God um, but anyway it was it was a big change in, in my whole you know the whole course of your life and, and so that's sort of what the moral of the story is is that these unrelated events these little nuances of happening takes place in your life and it completely changes who you are it changes how you look at the world for the rest of your life I mean that moment changed me as a human being I mean maybe the same sort of realization would have come about two years later or maybe five years later whenever it would have happened but it was just the fact that it was not even it's not even you weren't even looking for it and it just it's just this unrelated event happens and you know you come to some realization on different levels about how you think and who you are and what you care about and why you care about it and you start analyzing all this internal crap that's you're being led by all this the the all of a sudden the, the wheels just stop and you have to say wait a minute which one of these wheels is good and which one of them is bad which wheel is you know doing what 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 you know that there's actually a requirement to start thinking about how you're thinking because it's not just automatic you just can't go with what you feel and you can't just go with this or go with whatever this these wheels turn out because you've got to exercise that final bit of judgment that has this knowledge in it you know these this little bit of knowledge that says wait a minute you've always got to check what the wheels produce I mean, it's almost like your first obligation is to make sure the wheels are turning the right way, that they're turning real crap and not bullshit. And, um, and like I said, it changes the whole dynamic of who you become as a human being, just little incidental happenings in life. And uh, so anyway, uh, future videos, I do plan on doing like some sort of random thing where I'm just going to pick subjects out of a random hat, so to speak. And... Uh, so if there's like certain questions or something else that you would like me to discuss or talk about, um, you know, you could post that. Um, and I guess that'll be it. And so record time, under way under nine minutes even. And we'll leave it at that.